Hi and welcome back to our channel. In this video I would like to share with you a list of the most popular dishes here in Germany and those aren't necessarily German. This list I have found in an amazing book written by Ursula Heilzenmann and it's called Beyond Bratwurst. Was ist Deutschland. The book is available in English and in German and if you are interested in the German food history and the food culture, I would recommend you read it. I'll put the link to it in the description box down below. So according to the book and many different surveys, one of the most favorite dishes of the Germans is pizza. And not any pizza, pizza with salami. The first pizzeria here in Germany was opened in 1952 by Nicola Di Camillo in Würzburg. In 1968 the pizza got very popular and that was the time when Romano Freddi, together with Dr. Oetker, started producing frozen pizza. Pizza gained popularity because it's actually a pretty simple dish that you can order takeaway, buy it frozen or eating it freshly baked from the pizza oven. So the pizza that you can usually get here in Germany is very similar to the traditional Italian pizza. Has a really thin crust that is covered with tomato sauce and then cheese. And here you need to be careful because still some of the uh, German pizza places use instead of the real mozzarella, Gouda or Emmentaler. But anyway, the cheese is usually topped with other ingredients, like in this example salami. And this is how we eat the pizza here in Germany. Nevertheless, here in Germany we also Germanized the pizza a little bit because there are some variations that you cannot find anywhere else. One of those versions is for sure Pizza Hawaii, which is a pizza inspired by another dish that is called Toast Hawaii. And on this pizza and the toast, of course, you can find pineapple. Next favorite dish of the Germans is spaghetti bolognese, so spaghetti pasta with a ragu or bolognese sauce. Our parents' generation made spaghetti bolognese by using meal mixes from Maggi or Knorr, but as soon as we tried the real bolognese sauce, we rather cook it ourselves. And by the way, the recipe I use for ragu sauce comes from the website called Gelo Zafferano and it's in Italian. And for those of you who don't know, ragu is meat-based sauce, so not a tomato sauce with a meat. The traditional variation of the sauce actually contains onions, carrots, celery, minced meat, beef mixed with pork, but also bacon, yes, bacon, wine, beef broth mixed with tomato paste, and also milk. What's actually very funny is that spaghetti bolognese in Italy actually doesn't exist. The Italians like eating their ragu or bolognese sauce with freshly made tagliatelle. So the dish that we know in Germany, Great Britain or US was probably created by the immigrants from Italy and has not really a lot of things in common with a real deal. And not only the way how we prepare it is different, but also the way how we serve it is different. So after you cook the sauce here in Germany, you would put the sauce on the top of the pasta and the Italians would actually mix the sauce with the pasta first and then serve it. Bolognese sauce is also eaten with another very popular dish in, here in Germany, which is called lasagna. Lasagna is actually a dish and a type of white flat pasta that here in Germany is filled with ragu sauce, bechamel and parmesan. And then it's baked in the oven for around 40 minutes. You can buy the lasagna pasta freshly or you can use the dry version of it that you can buy in the German supermarkets. And because we like this pasta so much that I always use double layer of pasta in this dish. And this is how we like it. Lots of pasta, lots of sauce and lots of cheese. Italians, please forgive me. And now finally I'm gonna mention something German for a change. Under the top 5 favorite dishes of the Germans is Schnitzel. Schnitzel is a piece of meat that is usually thinned by pounding 
and then it's breaded before frying. The breaded schnitzel is popular in many countries, but here in Germany we usually use pork to prepare it. The original Viennese schnitzel is served with a potato salad and lingon berries. Here in Germany we like serving our schnitzel with a different side dishes and sauces. In Frankfurt we love our schnitzel with a green sauce, which is a sauce made of seven herbs. Another delicious schnitzel dish is for sure schnitzel with a cream sauce, with a mushroom sauce, with a gypsy sauce or cocktail sauce. And as you can see, the schnitzel is also served with a different side dishes like spätzle, pan fried potatoes or french fries. Beef rolls is another beloved dish here in Germany and this is a thin sliced beef that is filled with pickled cucumber, mustard, chopped onions, salt and pepper and the whole thing is braised then for several hours and then served with potato dumplings, red cabbage and very rich sauce. As you can see on the screen, the side dishes might also vary. In Bavaria we have found beef rolls that were served with spätzle and that's also a great idea because spätzle go very well with all saucy dishes. On the list of favorite dishes of Germans, I have also found white asparagus. White asparagus is vegetable that you can eat between April until 24th of June. Throughout Germany, white asparagus is served with hard-boiled potatoes and ham, as well as sauce hollandaise or butter. On our last journey to Schwarzwald, we have eaten this dish with a shredded pancake and sauce hollandaise, which was also a great idea. Another beloved dish here in Germany is the steak. Here in Germany, you can eat beef steaks in German restaurants, but we also do have steak houses. In the German restaurants, very popular is the rum steak, sirloin steak and tenderloin. The rum steak is usually served uh, with uh, fried onions or fried onion sauce herb butter and the common side dishes are fried or pan fried potatoes or as you can see on the screen spätzle beef tenderloin in the German restaurants is served with a pepper sauce sauce bernese sometimes also chimichurri or red wine sauce the German restaurant serves their steaks medium rare if you would like to have your steak differently you need to say that I need to tell you that steak is also one of my favorite dishes. My husband is always responsible for making steaks in our family. For this, he uses cast iron pan and he always flambes the steaks with cognac. Sauerbraten is marinated beef or horse roast and this dish can be translated to sour roast. The marinade is made of vinegar or wine, water, herbs and some spices but also all the ingredients depending on the region. The meat marinates 3 to 10 days and uh, traditionally it is served with potato dumplings or potato pancakes or even spätzle. The one on the screen we have eaten in Rotenburg ob der Tauber which is a beautiful city in Franconia and the Franconian version is served with uh, applesauce but Franconia is not the only region where the sour rose is traditional. There are some variations of sour rose also in Rhineland, Thuringia, Saarland and Swabia. Kohl rouladen, so the cabbage rolls, are filled with meat, onion, salt, pepper, sometimes also a soaked bread roll, myron and bacon. The rolls are then fried and braised. The German cabbage rolls are served with mashed potatoes and the sauce that is made from the broth leftovers. Another German's favorite is Kassler, so pork loin rib that is cured and smoked. The origins of the dish are not known. It might come from France, Berlin or Kassel. We don't really know for sure. Kassler is served in many different ways. It can be cooked in a soup, roasted or pan fried. It is also very typical to serve it with kale, sauerkraut and hard boiled potatoes, but also sliced and eaten like a ham on the bread. 
This dish is called Grünkohl mit Pingel and this is kale served with a Pingel, which is a sausage and also Kassler in some variations. Kale is considered a northern German staple and comfort food. And there are many traditions in northern Germany that are associated with kale. Another favorite from the north are the Königsberger Klopses, or meatballs in the creamy caper sauce. The dish is named after Prussian city, Königsberg, present Kaliningrad, and it's an example of the Prussian cuisine. The meatballs were originally made from minced veal, which is nowadays substituted with beef or pork. They also contain anchovy, onions, eggs, breadcrumbs and spices. The meatballs are then simmered in water and served with a sauce that is made from the broth uh, that they were cooked in, raw, cream, egg yolk and capers. Traditionally, they were served with a beetroot and boiled potatoes. So as you can see, the list of the popular dishes here in Germany is very complex and extremely interesting because it shows how many f different factors actually influence the German food culture. The most important ones are immigration, regionality and seasonality. So the truth is that food that we eat here in Germany is very international. Today we might have a sauerkraut and tomorrow we might have a sushi. For lunch we're gonna eat a Caesar salad and for dinner Mautaschen, which are the German dumplings. And this is how it is. At this point I would like you to share with me what is your favorite dish and if it actually comes from the country you're from. Please let me know in the comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Next week we will be focusing on the favorite German foods and trends. So where's our food culture going? So stay tuned for that. I wish you a happy week, stay safe and I see you on my next one. Bye!